and welcome to Neighborhood Community Shout Out. The Saturday edition. <laughs> we put them off since Wednesday because of uh, problems that we've had. That she's had. Um, but I figured out a way so I didn't have to write. <laughs> It's a little difficult, but Come on. let's do this. Okay. Brianna Dawkins, welcome to the neighborhood. Renee Daly, welcome to the neighborhood. Basia Today, welcome to the neighborhood. Michelle Jones, welcome to the neighborhood. Jerry Colburn, Welcome to the neighborhood. He's over, or she's over, from Mom's Vlog 80. Rosemary Baker. Not sure if you're new or not, but I always like to play it safe. Welcome to the neighborhood. Kim Wilson. Shout out to you. Tanya Hemmer. Welcome to the neighborhood. Gabriel Torres, welcome to the neighborhood. Update, Tanya Ray, stepdad is moving into the hospital to try and control his pain. Update on her hubby, he has three slipped discs in his back. He is doing an MRI to see if he needs back surgery, so if everybody can keep Tanya Ray, her stepdad, and now her husband, wow. and their thoughts and prayers. We would greatly appreciate that. Big D Jr.'s cat, Cammy had a stroke, mm. and they may need to have to put her down. Um, they don't have the money to put her through all the testing that needs to be done, and they'd rather not see her suffer any longer. Um, Ryan, who is Big D's son, is not handling it very well. So if everybody can please keep Ryan, Big D, um, their entire family, and Cammie the cat in your thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate it. Update on Uncle Stan, Terry Johnson's Uncle Stan. He was released from the convalescent hospital and is happy to be home that is great news and but we will continue to keep him in our thoughts and prayers as well and if i do remember correctly her cousin and his wife took a uh, three months leave of absence and is staying at the house with him so that is very nice of them sierra ferguson cripples broke her foot on Thursday. So thoughts and prayers to Sierra Ferguson. How did she do that? Uh -huh. Did she trip over something? I don't know. She didn't say. How'd you do that, Sierra? What happened? I tripped over a box. Allie Smith. Welcome to the neighborhood, first off. Uh, thoughts and prayers go out to you for the, a speedy recovery on your fourth foot oh. surgery. She's only 13 years old and she is going through so much. And I'm so sorry. Just hang in there, sweetie, and uh, things will get better. Okay. I'm going to need you to hold this for me. Last week's question was... Do you live near any place that is haunted? <laughs> okay, Angie on YouTube. Yes, I live near where the place Graham Parsons died, which is Joshua Tree Inn. It's more peaceful than spooky. Yeah, we know, we've been there. Uh, Barnarchy 7. I live near the Majeska Theater. It's closed now, but when I was a kid slash teen, you would go there to watch movies. Stories have it that it was very haunted. 
I was in the bathroom once there alone, and I felt like someone touched me. And there was also a cold sensation and felt very scary. A lot of energy. Needless to say, I feel very uncomfortable. I got out of there pretty quick and never went back in there alone. All right, Terry Johnson. There's a house, a haunted house called McPike Mansion. You can Google it. Bill and I visited the house. As I touched the door frame, I said to Bill, Eleanor is expecting you. When we sat down and listened to the history of the house, I found out the lady of the house was named Eleanor. I about fell off my seat. I don't know why I said her name as I touched the door frame. So strange. We were in the cellar with the lights off and a young girl screamed. She said she felt someone touch her. The owner of the house said there is a ghost that likes young women. Also, the owner told us they took a picture of the tour in the basement. When they looked at the picture, there was an extra person in the picture, which was not part of the group. The mansion has been featured on Scariest Places on Earth. Tanya Longley. I live near a famous covered bridge. It's called Emily's Bridge in Stowe, Vermont. It is haunted by a young lady who supposedly hung herself. I have been there. I didn't see anything, but I, I felt weird, like a different energy or something. There are people who have experienced different things there, though. Uh, Bambi S. I live... Do I live near any spooky places? Hmm. Had some strange things show up on camera at the old ranch. On picture camera, that is. If I can find them, I will let you see them, Val. Tons of orbs and glowy red streams of light that I found thought resembled bits in an arena area. The Abyss 92882. I live down the street from where the Wineville Chicken Coop murder property is. And Crimson Ferry. I live next to a turn of the century graveyard. It was great, except when the teenagers would play in it. <laughs> So, do you live near anything spooky? Do we live near anything Just spooky? you. Hey! Do we live near anything spooky? Well, we've been to the Ganal Ranch, which is up the, up the street. And you keep forgetting we live in a haunted house. I'm not forgetting. You didn't, it said, do you live near someplace haunted or spooky? Not in someplace haunted or spooky. Yeah. An old ranch would be the closest. Probably the closest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My question for this week will be, where do you normally spend your Thanksgiving, and what is your traditional Thanksgiving Day feast? Roast beast. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. And I can't do my roll thing with my hand, so just it's time for him now. Okay. Ha-ha. Uh, last week's question was about the movie Halloween, the original 1978 John Carpenter movie. And the question was, how did the mask come about? And what was Michael Myers' originally going to wear and um, the uh, mask is a uh, William Shatner mask uh, that was put together by Don Post in 1975 he did an entire uh, series of Star Trek masks they're actually high-end masks but by the time they were uh, they making the production uh, they were old and they bought them for a dollar and they bought three of them at least, at least three of them uh, to, for the movie. And they just painted them light, painted the brown hair brown because it was blondish, I do believe, and pulled off the eyebrows and the, uh, the funky looking uh, sideburns. sideburns that they had. 
and uh, they had their Mike Myers mask. They opened the eyes a little bit so that they looked a little large and staring. Now, originally, they had bought a Emmett Kelly mask. Emmett Kelly was a clown that had uh, the sad expression on his face. He was an artist. He did lots of paintings of himself. And um, the, the clown mask was also by Don Post uh, Studios. And uh, it, it's pretty scary looking in, in itself. They originally wanted to use the Emmett Kelly mask because it would tie in with him wearing the clown mask at the beginning of the movie. But they decided on the William Shatner one because it was expressionless. Completely expressionless. Uh, so that's how that came about. And it was almost Emmett Kelly. An Emmett Kelly mask. Can you imagine uh, that movie with the clown mask? No, it wouldn't have been the same movie. Look it up. There's actually some production stills with them, with them wearing a mask. So, those who got that correct was Bambi S, Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and the Abyss 92882. Woohoo! Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I continue, I'm gonna continue with the Halloween, with, even though it's over. Halloween H2O, which 20 years later brought back uh, Jamie Lee Curtis into the franchise. But, they did something strange. Uh, they eliminated episodes Four, five, and six. They ignored them. Why? Why did they do that? That's your question. There you have it. Okay, so everything's been a little off skew this week. Yesterday should have been my. I'm off skew. <laughs> Yesterday should have been my lifestyle journey. That is also going to go up tonight, along with shout outs and a regular video. So, if I have any, any energy left, something else. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just... I, I threw everything off with a fall, okay? I threw the the center of gravity off. Is that, is that I guess. <laughs> you seem to have lots of issues with gravity. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all. <laughs> uh, What's that? Uh, uh, it's kind of a misshapen part. We love you all very, very much. And thumbs up. Be sure to go by and check out all of our other stuff. And we will see you guys on Wednesday. <laughs> Bye. Short one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>